I'm not quite sure what happened. <laughs> hey, it's Mike with Carbonize This. Today, we're gonna carbonize some St. Patrick's Day items. Let's check them out. So first up, we have some wooden shamrocks that are painted with some food to safe dyes. Next up, we have this pot of gold, which is a coconut shell, some wooden coins that have been painted with some food safe gold paint. We also have some chocolate coins that have kind of a gold colored foil on it. So this last item is a rainbow decoration my wife made out of colored Twizzlers and some cotton balls. Now we've done some pure sugar candies in the past and it really expanded as it carbonized. We're curious if the Twizzlers are gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna put the rainbow in first. Then we're gonna put this shelf in. Lastly, we're gonna put the tray of the other items in the retort. So we were able to find some hickory and oak scraps from a local cabinet maker. So uh, they normally throw this all away, but uh, they've given it to us. And instead of going into the landfill, we're gonna use it to create biochar. Time to get this party started. Look how hot that chimney gets. All right, it's time for the reveal. So let's see how things turned out. I'm not quite sure what happened. So the rainbow turned out pretty neat. I'm going to try to move it to the table. So this is how the rainbow decoration turned out. This is where the Twizzlers were and you can see that um, there's still some ridges just like the Twizzlers had ridges. It didn't really expand um, like we've seen other candies do. The uh, cotton balls actually turned out exactly like a cotton ball but they're black and they shrunk a little bit and then this is the wood backer that we used to kind of paste everything too with buttercream so yeah that's pretty neat uh we didn't get any colors from it uh didn't really expect it to i figured that the a lot of the twizzlers and the the artificial colors would just um, vaporize and that looks like that's what's happened so these are the shamrocks that were painted in a in a dye that we basically created from kale juice you can see a little bit of bronze. Kale's got a lot of minerals in it, and sometimes you'll get uh, minerals that turn bronze like that. But this one here was painted with edible metallic green food paint. So we got a lot of really interesting colors here, but it's getting dark out. We're gonna take these inside so you guys have a better look. So this is the pot of gold that we created, and it was out of a coconut shell, and it had little uh, feet on it that were made out of cork. And those popped off. And then the coins were made out of little pieces of wood that were painted gold, a metallic edible paint. And these came out really pretty. So there's obviously the gold color, but then there's purple and blue and bronze and a lot of different colors kind of mixed in together. So we're gonna grab one of these coins and break it in half and see how it looks inside. Jet black inside. So these are the chocolate coins that we carbonized. So they, they had the gold foil on them and you can kind of take that gold foil off. There we go. And then that is the sugar from the um, chocolate that was in there. And this is extremely light. 
and sugar being made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen left a lot of that carbon behind. Let's see if I can pick this up. Pull the foil off. That one's a little stuck. I don't want to break it. Oh, it came apart. So very lightweight and just basically turned to carbon. So happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a suggestion in the comments and we'll see if we can carbonize it on Carbonize This.